Hello everyone, today I wanted to show you how you can self-host N8N on an Ubuntu 24 server, how to set up your custom domain, and securing your connection with an SSL certificate. I'll be following my article on opensourcehustle.com and I'll have the link to that article in the description. Let's go down to the prerequisites. You'll need an Ubuntu server. In this tutorial, I'm using Ubuntu version 24, but other versions should work fine as well. Next, you'll need an A record in your domain pointing to that server. It should look something similar like this. So in Cloudflare, I have an A record, which will be creating a subdomain of opensourcehustle.com and it is pointing to my server. Next, I added here an input where you could put your domain name, click apply, and it would tailor the article with your domain name. So you can directly copy the chunks of code and they will be applicable to you. So I'm gonna write my domain name here, which will be tutorial.opensourcehustle.com and click apply. Now, if I go below, you will see that the article is tailored now to my domain name. I have an important note here. Before starting, make sure that UFW allows HTTP and HTTPS. So on your server, check the status of UFW. Currently, I have HTTP and HTTPS allowed. If not, then use the below commands. sudo UFW allow HTTP and sudo UFW allow HTTPS. Also, make sure that these ports are open in the firewall of your hosting provider. Next, let's set up Docker and docker compose to do that i have a link to the official documentation which you could follow i basically copied the same thing in my article so you could follow either of them so i'm going to install docker using the apt repository i'm going to copy this section of code this will add docker to the repository list and after it's complete we are able to install docker and docker compose by running the next command with that we have docker and docker compose installed next to keep things organized i suggest creating a docker directory inside your user's home directory and inside it an n8n directory so let's create those and within it we can create the compose.yaml file next add the following directives this yaml file will create the n8n container the n8n container will include a volume to its data so it saves the workflows credentials and users it will have the n8n host environment variable which will tell it on which domain it will be served at and it will have the restart option as always which will ensure that the container restarts after failure or stopping next we have the nginx container which has three volumes the first volume will include our nginx configuration this will have our domain configuration and ssl certificate configuration the second volume is shared with the certbot container and this will be used for the acme challenge in order to generate let's encrypt certificate and the third container is also shared with the certbot container this will contain the actually generated SSL certificates we'll be using ports 80 and 443 and it will depend on N810 that will ensure that N810 is always running when Nginx is running and as N810 restarts is set to always next we have the certbot it has two volumes these two volumes are shared with Nginx as I mentioned previously and the entry point will make sure that the SSL certificates are renewed when they are about to expire this command will be running twice daily and if the SSL certificate is getting close to expiry it will renew it let's save this and proceed with the next step so now we can start the nginx container and since it depends on the n810 container n810 container will start by itself as well now we can set up our initial nginx configuration i'm going to list the directory and we can see that two new directories were created we are going to go inside nginx confd directory where we will add our nginx configuration so sudo nano default.conf and here we will add our initial server block this will listen to port 80 for our domain name it includes a location block for the acme challenge and a location block to serve n810 let's close this and let's restart nginx so now we can actually visit the domain i'm gonna open an incognito tab continue to site and we can see that the website is reachable and it is giving us the following page which is normal and we will fix in the next section so now with the nginx blocks setup we are able to generate ssl certificates so copy the certbot command click enter enter your email address agree to the terms if you'd like to share your email and you should be receiving a similar message where you can see that the certificates were generated and saved in the following directory so now we can update the nginx configuration to serve traffic over https so in the same directory let's sudo nano default.conf and i'm gonna click ctrl k 
to delete all the lines and I'm going to paste the new configuration. Here we will be redirecting traffic to HTTPS but we are still keeping the location block for the Acme challenge on port 80. This is for the future when we want to renew our certificates. And on the secure server block we included the SSL and the SSL certificates path. Let's save the new Nginx configuration file and let's restart Nginx. Now visit your domain and you should receive the following page where you are able to create your user. Let's try to create a workflow. I'm gonna look for rack starter template and I'm able to save and as you can see everything is working as expected. At the end of the article I have a link to another article which includes an NATN workflow that sends notifications when an SSL certificate is about to expire. This is a simple setup that does not require any third party tools and it is useful if you have any self-hosted websites that you would like to check the SSL expiry date for, including our own self-hosted NATN server. So that's it with this tutorial. I hope you found this useful. Take care.